Episode 2, The King and the Hero. Hero, I command you to wait! What is it now? And I told you, I'm not a hero! Nonsense! Please, listen to what I have to say. This world is currently imperiled by the God of Destruction. We must rely on your strength. Now, take this stick and 500 bucks and set off on your journey to save the world! Do you seriously think you can defeat the God of Destruction with a stick and 500 bucks? Well, you're something else. No! <laughs> a stick and 500 bucks is way more than some zombie brat deserves. Don't waste your time with a chump like him. Come on, let's get going, Cerberus. Wait! Oh, hero! In that case, how about this? What the hell's that? Yo, <laughs> what everyone loves, stacks of bills. If you manage to take out the God of Destruction, it's yours, see? That's what I say, but they're all phony. As if I'd actually give my precious money to some zombie. Cut the crap, I'm not fighting for money, damn it! Excuse me? That can't be true. Money is what all heroes, gods, and saints want. Money makes the world go round. Well, not for me. Don't go lumping me in with those losers. <laughs> so you want to play it that way? Then I'll show you the power of cash. Come here, my little money grubbers. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? This is the power of money! <laughs> die, die, die! You money-loving pieces of garbage! Whoa, amazing! For a worthless zombie, he's uncommonly strong. And most importantly, he has the incredible willpower to resist the allure of money! He truly is one of a kind! He may just be the one I've been seeking for so long. Huh, who gives a crap? Wait, wait, wait! I ask that you please allow me to join you as a comrade! A comrade? 
Hell no. I is this a money thing? I'll give you as much as you want. Or, if you'd prefer, I can give you a castle. I said I don't need any of that crap. The only thing I need is to defeat the God of Destruction. Uh, don't be so hasty, Zed. He is offering us a hefty sum. Why not just accept it? It may help us defeat the God of Destruction. <laughs> Fine. In that case, I'll take it. Oh, hero! You'll accept me as a comrade, then? No, not as a comrade! From now on, you're gonna be my damn wallet! That's it! Just my wallet! Seriously? Awesome. <laughs> I managed to become his companion for a mere 100 million bucks? That's pocket change. Just as I thought, for the right price, you really can buy anything. Uh, how can this be? His majesty has fallen to the forces of evil. This will not do. I refuse to stand by as peace slips from our world! Where do you wish to go? All right, we're all ready. This ends today, God of Destruction. Indeed. Now, let us proceed together. Huh? You're still here? You already did your part. Don't be so mean. Have you forgotten? We're comrades! Again, you're not my comrade. You're my wallet. Huh? What? It would appear that I am their target. <laughs> They're after my wallet, huh? Oh, Hero Zed! You are going to protect me? Hell no, I don't care about you. Protect yourself. <laughs> How horribly cruel! And you call yourself a hero? I keep telling you, I'm no hero. I'm just a zombie. <laughs> huh. 
greedy morons. Looks like the human world and netherworld aren't so different. Actually, it would seem that this robbery was premeditated from the very beginning. Ever since we got all that money, I've been catching a whiff of something ominous skulking about. Is that right? Aha! I see now. The culprit is you! M me How did you jump to that conclusion? Forgive him. Zed's got brain problems. I already have a good idea who the culprit really is. It must be that guy. That guy? Yes, the guy who had once been hailed as hero. so soon follow me please <laughs> finally found you your majesty who the hell is this guy this guy is that guy hero yarmada the legendary hero who was tasked with defeating the God of Destruction. Oh, come on, your majesty. I quit the hero business. That's right. Through the miracle of class changing, I am now self-sequestered domicile defender, Yarmada. Self-sequestered domicile defender? Not even Yarmada, our legendary hero, could defeat the strongest god of destruction. Viability resurrected him every time he died, but it eroded his will, and now he's a self-sequestered domicile defender. I see. And now he holds a personal grudge against you. Oh no, I'm actually quite grateful. Thanks to his majesty, I can live a comfortable life without having to work. Well, I get it now. The one who sent those bandits after us was you! That's right! How am I supposed to maintain my current lifestyle if his majesty loses his castle and riches? I won't allow you to ruin this. I plan on mooching off his majesty's lap of luxury for the rest of my life. Oh, hero, how could you have turned out like this? I don't care what you have to say. I won't go easy on anyone who would rob my home of its serenity. <laughs> I don't give a crap why you're doing this. I'll crush anyone who tries to stand in my way, hero or not. Nothing special. And revive! Whoa! He made an instant comeback! I may have become a self sequestered domicile defender, but I was the hero. The king's ability still revives me. 
But I'm not doing it on purpose. The blood of the royal family revives the hero automatically. Understand. So long as his majesty exists, it's impossible to defeat me. Really? That's good to know. You don't intend to kill me, do you? Oh, that's a good idea, too. But I have something better in mind. If he revives no matter how many times I kill him, then he's perfect for grinding experience! <laughs> what was that? Hey, what are you planning to do? Cease this violence at once! A conscience? <laughs> if I did, it must have rotted away! <laughs> this is no different than when I was fighting the God of Destruction! <laughs> Come back here, Mr. Experience Boost! How has it come to this? I absolutely cannot believe what's happening. <laughs> 